Good afternoon. On behalf of the City of Buenos Aires, I want to thank you, all of you who have been here. And um, when we thought that we are going to be here, uh, we said how we are going to present our history in the Tetra network. So we're going to run a small video about uh, where is Buenos Aires because we came from far away. So uh, please take one minute and view what is Buenos Aires. Video number one, please. Well, which were the reasons why we acquired a mission critical network? In December 2007, we went to office after a political reorganization of the city, and now with Major Mauricio Macri, commissioned the creation of a comprehensive plan for the mission secure. This plan provided a centralization of in one place and the coordination of emergency in one place and system. Okay, and a network of mission critical as uh, the backbone. So, I'm going to tell you about the buying process. Was one big part of the of the history. There was these topics were the ones that uh, we start working. The network should be a mission critical standard, guarantee reliable coverage. Of the, of the radio system in their coverage in the downtown area. Our downtown area especially uh, are located all the financial institution and um, we have a, a special situation that we are always using money, monetary money, so there are many transfers on in, in cash money. Uh, that network has um, managed more than 10,000 users currently and we have only 10 pairs of channels, radio channels, and it must be a scalable solution for future expansions. So, we have this problem. Uh, we have a lot of pressure of the B25 industry to decide to that standard, so we take a creative solution in the buying process. We let the market do the engineering of us, the best technology, we worked to develop minimum requirements that had to be both, meet both standards to our needs. And we developed an evaluation mechanism that allowed us to compare them in fair shape. In March 2009, we launched an international public tender. One of the main differences was that the contract was in the term of service for five e for whole years. And we didn't buy the network. It was give it to one operator. It took us nine months to complete all the buying process. And the nice thing was that all builders proposed Tetra technology. No one proposed P25. Telecom is the uh, main telephone company in Argentina. And Celex LSAC was the provider of the infrastructure and terminals. They won the, um, the bid. And now they are the, our operators. As I told you when I begin, the network was conceived for the care of the emergencies. Okay? It was only conceived for that, was both for that. And okay. During the buying process, we create Policia Metropolitana. It's a police force, a new police force, focused on the custody and protection of the city and uh, 
because it's not the city, and reorient the purpose of the network. Buenos Aires is the uh, district capital where the federal government has its office, but the city is uh, an independent institution inside that city that runs all the city services. And security up to that time was responsible of the federal government. So we create a police force. It was the first police force in 80 years that was created. And we assumed the responsibility of the security of the city. We started a police from zero. We had nothing. We built a new police. Today we have 4,000 police officers on the streets and we are in charge of the security of the city of Buenos Aires. Policia Metropolitana, here with us is Eduardo Martino, our Commission for Communications, assumed the leadership of the network and all those are responsible to the emergency according to the emergency plan. Cyber defense that is responsible for the handling of the emergencies is the first effector integrated to the uh, Tetra network and to our E911. We continue with Summit, our EMS uh, service that serves more than 1,000 emergencies a day, medical emergencies a day. Then I'm going to show you something interesting about how they work. Traffic Police Corp was the last integration. All our network is fully integrated and performing each organization its own independent BPN. Uh, we call Steel Island uh, groups. Uh, we are working to implement data radios and service and non-critical government services. Today our collection, uh, garbage collection and utility uh, trucks share common ABL platform connected through the data network. This is a small scheme of how uh, our network is um, conceived, how is the coverage of the city, how it is. And as you know, sometimes Things must be tested. And I'm going to show you a small video of what happens on the morning of February 2 at 8.05 in Buenos Aires. Video number two, please. In this accident, 51 per persons were killed, and we have 700 injuries because of that accident. All those injuries were treated on all our 33 hospitals and was, uh, were taken in the two hours after the crash. All the communication, all the coordination of the emergency response was through our Tetra network. And I'm proud of it. We have no problem at all. It works as we plan it. And thanks God, we only count 51 people killed. And all those 700 injuries are back in their homes from today. The next big thing is what we are doing in the next month is from top to bottom. We are going to integrate our network, our mission critical network, to the underground. Many undergrounds have uh, Tetra networks for the run and operation, but what we're going to do is integrate it fully with Policia Metropolitana's network. It will really have a service a system for the Policia and one for the train and even police, emergency response services, police, EMS, and all the others who go underground and are still having their system working independently. In the next few months, we're going to uh, call for international public tender to do all this integration. Uh, for us, it's a big um, challenge because it's the first time that one network is fully integrated into two different uh, places, the, the underground and surface. So, I want to thanks 
all of you to be here and please visit Buenos Aires.